Welcome back to our second part of our tutorial here, how to install Ubuntu Linux and dual boot it with a Windows PC. Okay, so hopefully by now that you've got everything started and you've booted up from your USB stick that we discussed in part one. Um, choose the menu option install Ubuntu and shortly you'll see this welcome message. Choose your language from the left hand side, this one obviously English for us, and um, then the system does a few checks. Uh, those are all good there, as you can see. Also, download updates whilst installing and install this third-party software. Tick both of those boxes so you can get full multimedia support. The next section is very important, and you should note that it should say something along, along the lines of install Ubuntu alongside Windows Vista. If it doesn't, look on the Ubuntu uh, the Linux Newbie Guide website for more information. Next, you can see how we're, we can change here the size of the Windows partition to give more space to the Ubuntu partition. Slide it left and right here to choose a size which is good for you. So I've chosen 60 gig for Windows Vista and 99 gig for Ubuntu Linux. Um, this is up to you, this is your preference, um, but what it'll do here is once you press continue, this will take some time. And I, I've got a fairly slow disk in this PC, but it's also a very small disk. And it took quite a substantial amount of time because it's resizing that Windows size, that Windows partition down. It took about 40, 40 minutes. Next, choose your time zone and just by clicking on the map. I've chosen Auckland. And also choose your keyboard layout. If you're unsure about how the keyboard's working, just tap in the little box down at the bottom there. Next, choose who you are. So put in your full name. And then follow that by a, a name that you'd like the computer to be known by. A username is also required, as well as a password. Just pop that in now. It'll advise you whether the password you put in is secure or not, so try and choose a secure password, but something you will remember. Next, press continue. And the installation is off. This process takes around 20 minutes, depending on the size of your computer, but you should see that uh, progress line at the bottom there going along quite happily. At the end of the process it'll ask you to restart your computer. It's vital that you remove the USB stick not at that moment in time but as the computer is restarting otherwise it's going to start up again from the USB stick and not from the hard drive which you've now installed Ubuntu onto. So just make sure you've done that at this point here when you see the start up screen. Quickly yank it out if you haven't had enough time, switch the machine off, pull it out and then switch it back on. Now you're going to see a new screen that you've never seen when you start up your computer. And it's got a bunch of options you can see here, Windows Vista at the bottom. I can choose that to boot into the normal Windows Vista system. But of course you can see Ubuntu there at the top. I've now booted into my new Ubuntu system and remember your username from earlier on. Um, it's also remembered that, just pop in your password. Hit return and you'll soon be taken to your new desktop. First off, it shows you a bunch of keyboard shortcuts which you can use to quickly navigate to places within your Ubuntu system. I'll close that for now. Focus on the left hand side of the desktop. Here's a quick tutorial on how to use the desktop. For anything you want, particularly note down the bottom you've got applications there uh, with the applications icon. Uh, you can also click on the, find, on the uh, volume finder and you can view your files and folders as well as note there the 61 gig volume which was our Windows Vista volume earlier on. On the bottom here the other icons are for movies and music and photos and so forth and if you have any it can automatically filter your view to show these content. Just quickly then um, you can also launch um, favorite applications from the sidebar here, like the Firefox web browser, which is started up here. Um, please head over to our website, www.linuxnewbieguide.org. But by now, you should have successfully installed Ubuntu. Have fun and watch out for more tutorials at our website. Thanks for watching.